All right, so welcome back to Delivered Coding. In today's video, we will set up a project and install some dependency and build our custom snippet for using in our projects. So here I'm using Create React app using uh, Create React app. And also I already create the project in Firebase. And if you haven't, go ahead and create a Firebase. And then we need to choose config for a web application. First is that you choose this is for mobile and this is for web. You click here and give your app name. So we're gonna call it Twitter clones. And not we do not do any hosting. After you register, it's going to give you the Firebase SDK. And also what you need to do is to uh, go with to Firebase NPM and install this dependency as well. So let's go ahead and install this one. And after you've done this one, you can copy the rest of in here. And you can create your folder in here. So I'm going to call it configs. And then I'll give it a name uh, Firebase uh, configs.js. And then you're going to paste this one in. And Right, so we cannot call this con. So because uh, we still installing of this one, that's why it, it's get an error. So after installing this one, we need to import our Firebase in here. So we can use the console, and now we set up our Firebase. Or so we already set up Firebase. And so the next thing is we going to use the. Uh, front end library, so we use using Material UI and please go ahead and install Material UI this one here, this core and UI icon. So we're going to use this both. And now we're going to, to import Firebase from Firebase and we're going to export this one, export uh, default Firebase. So now we can use the Firebase in our projects. Alright, so we're almost done. So the next thing that we need to do is to build a, a snippet for our application. So because I'm using Material UI for this project, so I don't want to redundant and like create the component. Like it's low, I'd like to want to speed up the component. For example, let's say there's also a snippet already that we use. So we call it ES7, ES7 right here. Snippet, but uh, we can do OFC that uh, you can generate this one, but I want to do like with three a bit um, with the material UI so that we're gonna use style component for this for for it. So then that's why I'm going to create a custom for this one. So for that I'm going to find some existing project of this one. So I'm gonna copy and uh, some of the work, uh, some of the things that we use in here. So as you can see, we can we're gonna use use style. So let me show you by what I mean. So when I create uh, what I want is to have the use style right here, this use style component, that should be empty. And also we need to import the make style from the material UI as well. The thing that we need, so we need to like a snippet for this one. So, and also cons uh, classes equal to use style. And the way to do that is the way to you can build this uh, snippet is you can go to if you on Mac you can go con Command Shift T or you Window Control Shift T and you go to snippet and then you search for JavaScript JSON. So this is where you can create your own snippet for uh, your VS uh, for your VS Code. And you can type it here. Also, we can have the site generator snippet generator. And then we talk about description. So let me show you. So, so here I'm gonna call it a material UI component. You can call anything like uh, you want. So it is like the name of uh, like description for it. And the tab trigger, let's say, what is like prefix that we use. Let's say that I use OFC or something like that. So I'm gonna use um OFC. So I mean material UI. For um, simple material, and then for the snippet that we want, I'm going to paste this one. 
excuse me and then we can get this one so then what we need to do next is to create, uh, allow user change this one for like the, the component name so the way that we do that we're gonna do uh, this one and then gonna do dollar signs and number one here so I think it's uh, that should be it so then it's gonna be this one is gonna be number two dollar sign number two and all right so then we're going to copy this one and then we're going to paste it in our uh, JavaScript JSON right here and save it and then use going to get this one so um, OSC now we get this one and also it's nice for you that you can type your own component right here it's automatically because we use like the um, the dollar signs that we use uh, that we use in front of right here and yeah, I think that is it for this video. So which we install, we set up Firebase and build a custom snippet. And if you want to know more like how to work with snippet, I leave the link in the description with this one uh, from VS Code. And you can do a lot more than just than this one. So I hope you like this video. And all right, see you in the next video. Peace.